Gospel of January the 27, 2015 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circles, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, again, it's very convenient for us to take just a peek of the first reading from the Hebrews, which is this. talks about Christ and about Christ he says when he came into the world he said sacrifice and offerings you did not desire but a body you prepared for me then I said as it is written of me in the scroll behold I come to do your will O God and by the end it said it says by this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The first letter, the first reading from the letter to the Hebrews, talks about the fulfillment of the will of God in the person of Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son. And it's a very beautiful psalm, the one that he recites. God does not want sacrifice and offerings, but is commanding his son and all his children to do his will. And thus, our supreme priest, which is only Jesus Christ, offer himself as a sacrifice for the consecration of everyone and one for everyone salvation through his blood how does that relate to our gospel today first the caveat a notice that we have to take good notice of in our translation, in our traduction, translation of the gospel, it says the mother of Jesus and his brothers arrive at the house. Now, if we read the original text that we have, the oldest, the versions agree in the word Adelphoi, which means roughly brothers. But certainly, Mark did not speak commonly in Greek, nor would the people around Jesus would be speaking Greek. They certainly would have been speaking Aramaic. And in that regard, if they were speaking Aramaic, then the word that they would have used likely, most likely, would have been Ach. Ach being a very wide open word which could translate for brother, sister, cousin, uncle or even relative or in a broad sense the whole people of Israel. So it will be an injustice, it will be quite unjust to believe that because it says here that your brother and your sisters are with your mother just by that that we were to believe that the Virgin Mary had other children if she had had them they would have been duly noted for certain and then there would be no miracle in the birth of the Lord what would have been the difference why would there be an angel sent to her. Why would the Lord take the trouble 600 years before 
the born the, the before Jesus was born to announce that the virgin was to be with child so now let's put our attention into the exact text your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you they had come to see him seeking him because they were told that he was out of his mind there were a lot of rumors created by the Pharisees and the Herodians which hated Jesus and wanted to kill him they wanted to stop him because he was winning adepts day by day fast because of all the good that he was doing now it seems that the Lord that the Lord is dismissing his own mother and we would be quite mistaken if we thought so for he goes to assure who are my mother and my brothers and then he says the very essence of the virgin whoever does the will of God is my brother sister and mother by placing the mother but at the very end he is stressing that she was the very first one to fully comply with the will of God why am I saying that first of all because due to the fact that the son was to be incarnated from the Holy Virgin she was created immaculate with an immaculate conception not because she deserved it but because the son deserved that because pure had to be the womb from whom the verb which we call three times holy was to be incarnated so we see there the clear reason why she was immaculate in her conception and as the angel calls her Kecharitomene, which means made full of grace she from her conception was made full of grace so she did not have neither the original sin nor the tendency to go against the will of God and we see that in the scene of the Annunciation how when she verifies that the offering is directly from God she immediately says behold the handmaid of the Lord do unto me as you have said so she is our model and our goal is to do the will of God that is how we become brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ now the question is how do we discern the will of God for it is very specific on a day by day daily he wants you and me to train to do his will and that's how he is finally creating this change in the whole world and making the kingdom present as we give up our own will and learn to be truly free embracing the almighty will of God God bless you all brothers